It's time for Mod Showcase Monday! Hello, Greebos, and welcome back to downloadable content. That's right, it's Monday because it is Mod, Mod Showcase, Showcase Monday. Monday. This week, I'm bringing you about eight, I think there's eight. Oh, let me double check my notes here. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is about eight mods that we have to look at this week, and they are going to blow your mind. I'm not going to pull any punches, so let's dive right in. The first mod on today's list is a very welcome mod, and I am so happy that it's back in the U11 beta. And that is the Spell Wheel Enhancer by Davy3836. 3684, Davey3684, I got that one right, nailed it. But this one, if you haven't used it before, it gives you a more organized spell wheel with names on most, not all, on most of the spells. So it is absolutely a must have. The spell wheel enhancer is actually pretty straightforward. You know, all you have to do is press and hold the spell wheel down and it brings your spell wheel up. And now it's decently organized. And for the most part, they all have names. You can really see what these things are. So if you have a lot of things with the same, you know, runes on them, you know, if we're not having custom runes and, you know, things can get a little confusing. So it's great having the spell wheel enhancer. So if you don't have it, this is a must have. Moving right along, we have the Zendatsu by Genix. This enables you to chop enemies directly in half from their torso and up to their, like, their thighs also. It's brutal. It's a little cursed because, you know, you're affecting the NPC spines. But if you're okay with things looking cursed for the most part and you want the ultimate gore in this game, look no further than the Zendatsu. The Zendatsu has to be kind of equipped. So let me show you. Let's go into our your little spell wheel here and select the Zendatsu. So now it's selected. I'm going to go ahead and press the trigger. So the screen flashed for a second. I'm going to deselect by just selecting nothing in my spell wheel. That way I don't accidentally turn it on and off. And now whenever I go into slow motion, oh look, the world around me is all like this weird blue haze. That's to let you know that it's working. So here's how you use it. Let's get one of your favorite weapons out. And what you're gonna do is just, while it's equipped now, go into slow motion and then slice at the torso. <laughs> of course I fail because it's a mod showcase. Slice at the torso. There we go. Look, he's completely cut in half from the torso. Now, sometimes this doesn't look as good as it's supposed to. And also you get this nice spine and you can hold the spine and then crush in your hand with the grip and trigger at the same time. That will also refill your health and magic. But the cool thing about this one is when it works, it works. When it doesn't work, however, it gets to be a little bit cursed. Uh, now let me show you what I mean by that. Can you show us what it's like to be cursed? Oh, that guy too, two for two. Genix is two for two on this one. But can he be two for three, Ricky? Why was I born into this world to show us something? See, there you go, three, and that one was a little bit cursed. You can see how the little shoulders here collapse and everything. So like I said, sometimes it can be immersion breaking, but honestly, I don't care because I love cutting them in half like that. It's just so cool to be. Next up on today's list is a brand new mod, completely new to Blade and Sorcery, and I am so excited. I didn't think it was going to be this awesome, but it is, especially if you know how to mix and match your mods. It is Laser Eyes by Ghetto05. This works as a spell and, well, it, careful, it does hurt your retinas, but once you got the hang of it, it's fantastic. Let's have a look. So laser eyes has to be selected in the spawn wheel and it's a little faded, it's right here. And for some reason, it doesn't have a name like the other ones do when you're using the spell wheel enhancer. But that's it right there, so let's select that one. So now whenever I use the top you know, trigger, I'm gonna laser eyes it. Like I said, this can be a little jarring <laughs> to kind of look at because you know, for you guys, I'm sure that looks like hell. Ah! And I sent a message to, uh, to Ghetto, who is the mod author, about this one. So from my understanding that they are mildly working on it to see if that this effect doesn't always do it and we could just have the laser itself. Because right now it's a little like, my eyes! <laughs> but I want to show you why I love this one. Look at this Ricky. I could be fighting him in combat and then I could just like, ah, laserize him real quick and just kill him. Ugh. Chop his legs off. Do this to him, oh, it's fantastic. I just love grabbing him, looking him dead in the eyes, and then giving him the old, you know, laser eyes! Oh gosh, just burn him out. Look at how burnt out he is. Yeah! Now, remember what I said before about being creative. Let's get creative. I'm gonna select Zendatsu. Now, I'm gonna need another Ricky volunteer. 
and here's what we do. Go into slow motion, so that Zendatsu is equipped, and then also laser eyes like this. And look, he's laser eyed in half. So get creative with this one. So fun. Um, it looks like it's going to be a simple like, oh man, it's just laser eyes. But I assure you, it's so much more than that. You can laser eyes everything. Oh, it's so good. And even if it doesn't currently look that good for a spectator right now, I assure you, in game, it's fantastic. Up next, we have Scale by Linica. Now, this one is in its beta form because of U11 and only available in Linica's Discord, which I've linked. Stop asking me how to get the mods if I link them. How, how are people still asking me the mods if I've linked? <laughs> This enables you to scale things like NPCs and objects around you. It is super fun and it unlocks so many possibilities. Oh, uh, look at our little Ricky friend enjoying a nice beach day. You having a good beach day, buddy? Well, let's ruin it. Select scale from the spell wheel. And I like to have it in two hands. Two hands enables you to affect the NPCs versus one hand will scale things like objects. So with this one, if I, while holding both of the triggers, I could pull out to make it big and go my hands closer to make them nice and small. That is the maximum, well, let's, this is, that's the smallest that they can go is that. And let's get them to the absolute oh, biggest. That's the biggest he can get. But what I like to do is once I get a nice Squidward action figure, <laughs> I just, you know, oh, oh, I dropped him. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, be, be careful because, um, their physics and their weight is still like they are kind of normal size, so it's a little little weird to interact with them whether they're, they're the size. What we can do is let's uh, boop, make that guy, and let's scale him nice and big. You're a big boy now. Whoa, hey big boy, relax. And let's spawn this one, slow motion real quick so they don't notice each other, and I'm gonna scale him to be a big boy. So these two guys, We'll see each other in a sec and then just start beating each other up. Can you wake up, by the way? I, I, need, uh, I need you to, uh, come on, pay attention. Fight him. Why are, why are you being dumb? Come on, fight. Fight my enemy. Where, where'd my enemy go? Uh-oh. Get down here. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look, there's the other guy now. Maybe they're going to finally fight each other. He's getting up. Go, go, get him. What are you doing? Finally. He's like, oh, God, wasn't paid attention before, Drifter. Oh, God. Their physics are really funny when they're this big. And other objects can be scaled with one hand as well. So you can make things bigger, smaller using one hand, and two hands will really scale the NPCs. So if you have a sword you like, like this long sword, and you thought it was a little too big, we can just reduce that just a little bit. And now I have a nice little toy short sword. Moving on, we have another beta mod by Linica, the magic man himself. It's the hoverboard, and it is fan fantastic like it's it just adds a different layer of blade and sorcery for those creative thinkers out there it's not only about killing it's about exploring and also about being like vr tony hawk this one is fantastic and i wanted to show you in the player island so the hoverboard can be found in the exotics category called hoverboard and let's spawn this bad boy whoa whoa hey 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 take it easy let's just uh bring it over here into the island there we go and all we have to do is just jump right on it yeah and now look at me I'm hoverboarding. Pressing the normal jump button will make a jump. You can grab it also and do some crazy tricks like that. Whoa, look at me doing crazy tricks. Oh god, I cursed it. Oh, it's cursed already. Uh, Linica, the, the, the board is doing some things. Anyway, back, uh, back, back in the player home with a non-cursed board. Just jump right on it. There we go. The jump button will jump you. Glide, float on things. But here's what I like that he updated is this will now glide over the water. And um, there's some interesting physics with it as well. This will interact with the waves. So I could be like, whoo, I'm interacting with the waves, mom. Isn't that cool? I mean, I don't know if like you would use this for combat per se, but it's cool to, <laughs> it's cool to have things like this. This is nuts. I didn't think like, I mean, I knew this was existed, but I don't know if I said it last time <laughs> about this one, but I didn't think a mod like this uh, would be in Blade and Sorcery at all. Hua! Yeah! I really want to see some people do some sick tricks with this one. It's a little bit of a throw-up simulator, so just be careful. Make sure you have some nice VR legs if you're going to try something like this. But yeah, this is the board. 
Moving on, we have the Pact of Punishment by Gen X. If you're a Hades fan, you probably know what this is. And if you're not, well, this is basically adding like a new roguelike to your dungeon. It's fantastic. I'm not going to show you what the dungeon looks like. I'm just going to go over the book itself. So have a look. So the Pact of Punishment can be found in the normal menu book. So let's bring that up here. And I'm going to go to this tab over here that looks like a scroll. So this one is the actual Pact of Punishment. So you will apply all these ones. So conditions will only be applied in the dungeon and cannot be altered in the dungeon. So do not go in the dungeon and do it. But here's what you do. Everything in here that you change will tell you. So hard labor, all foes deal bonus damage, 20% per rank. So you can be like, I want them to just slaughter me in one hit. You could really crank that up. There's lasting consequences. Any healing effects restore less of your health. Benefits package, so all foes have perks. Sometimes they'll have like upgraded weapons. It's, it's really crazy. Routine inspection, you cannot bring weapons one or two spells with you when entering the dungeon. So it's saying, hey, so if you do routine inspection, so if I say, oh, let me put that as zero, it's fine. But if I did that as one or two, so two means I can't bring spells and weapons. One is just no weapon. And then there's one that says, you know, tight deadline right here. So you get 10 minutes to finish the dungeon, reduced by one minute per rank. Um, so you can make it super hard for yourself. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to do a three star in less than 10 minutes, but more power to you. So it's fantastic. If you're looking for a new challenge in the dungeon or more of like a roguelike-esque setting, Pact of Punishment. Our pen ultimate entry on this week's Mod Showcase Monday is Medieval Crossbow by something underscore. It's a medieval crossbow and it can be used in one hand. So take that for what it is. It's not full immersion, but it's cool because you could use it with one hand. Found in the bows category, you're gonna see a new thing that says crossbow. So let's spawn that bad boy. Well, oh well, here we have the one-handed crossbow. The crossbow sadly can't be put on your back for some reason only on your sides. And it's a little cursed when it's there, but I guess, you know, is what it is. But that's the handle here, and you can grab this with two hands for a different type of aiming. But what you need to do is press the spell use button in whatever hand you're holding it, and that will pull it back. And then the trigger will fire it. Pull back, fire. You can make it look like you're pulling it back while doing the animation, but you know, that will be just for yourself. And I have heard that there is a weird glitch with this one, so let's see if it works. Yeah, millions of crossbows at once. If you hold the trigger and spell use button at the same time, you can have a nice machine gun crossbow. So with this friendly Ricky over here, I could be like, boop, side of the head. And if I really want to do a massacre, I do these at the same time. Massacre! Ugh. Wow. He, uh, let's see if he's okay. He looks worse than Boromir. It's a cool crossbow though. It seems like it's lore friendly minus the machine gun aspect of it. Are you attempting to fight me? Cause that's not gonna work. Pachoo! Oh, what? Let's see how close you can go and fire the crossbow. Yeah. Oh, come on. All right, machine gun crossbow. Oh, suffer. Look at him suffering. Damn, you get a lot of, a lot of stuff happen here. Our final entry on today's list is actually just a single weapon. And I don't only say, hey, here's a random weapon, because, you know, weapons are weapons. But this one has some basic scripts in it, and I thought it looked cool. It's the Extendable Double Bladed by Crixix. And the reason why it's on this is not just because it's a double blade, but because the blades themselves can be used independently. And I thought... That was pretty cool. Found in the exotics category, for me it shows up as a question mark, but it still works. Select the double blade and we can spawn it. So depending on which way you hold it, you know, you have like a little spiky thing right here. So I think this is the up and down, but you know, you'll see what I mean in a second. So when I press the spell use button on the right hand, it's just gonna bring one blade up at a time. And if you press it again, it retracts the other one. So you actually get control over this one. So if I want to fight with one blade right here, I can. If I really want to trick someone, I can bring it back in. But here's the cool part. While dual wielding, I can say, stab with this one, and then I could bring that one out also. So I could press, I think, it depends. It's like technically the spell use button on the left hand also. So just keep that in mind when you're using it. Uh, they're independent, which is pretty cool. You could have some real excellent combat with this. So this clown here is gonna have to suffer this. See, I have this blade right here, and now there's two of them. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Look at this, so sick. Uh, this is actually really cool. It's a cool blade. I can even 
bring it back in for a nice little short stubby blade. You want that short stubby blade and then blast it through a skull? Come back. I'm going to give you the stubby stubby. He's like, what? What does that mean? Ugh. Stubby stubby through your throat. Well, that sounded weird. Well, Grebos, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Monday. I hope you had some fun, and more importantly, I hope you download these mods because they're freaking awesome. All the links are in the descriptions, and you can get them there. And also in the description, you'll find a link to my Discord and whatnot, so, you know, join up. Why not? And if you're new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? It's free. All you have to do, click the little button down below and join up, and I will greatly appreciate it. I also want to say thank you to the patrons listed right here on screen. Thanks for supporting your local lunatic like me so I can continue to make weird VR content. Everyone else, thank you so much for stopping by. Do that YouTube stuff. But other than that, I'm Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you in the next video.